everyone, dear friends. The weather is just wonderful outside today. I wonder what adventures await me today? What? I think Mikey's coming to me. Mikey, it's open. Hi, JJ. Have you already chosen what we will build? Not yet, Mike. Why? I have just a great idea, JJ. Let's build Sonic vs. Cartoon Cat today. Wow, Mikey, the idea is really great. Okay, I agree. But first, let's welcome our dear viewers. Of course, JJ, go ahead. Hello, everyone, dear friends. Today, Mikey and I are going to build Sonic vs. Cartoon Cat. And you decide who won in the comments. Are you ready, Mikey? Of course, JJ. Then we're starting. Amazing build. Hmm. Okay, everybody, let's go. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh yeah.
Hmm. Okay, here we go. Okay. God. Oh 
my god. Uh, thank you very much. Oh yeah! Oh my god. Yes! Wow! Mikey, you've got a really great Sonic. You did a great job. And what's inside? Very good, Mikey. I've arranged everything great. Thanks, JJ. But I can't wait to see what you've built. Then hurry up and go ahead. I have everything ready. Wow, JJ. What a great cartoon cat you got. So realistic. Everything is wonderful inside, too. Thank you, Mikey. I'm glad you liked my cartoon cat. I think we can end this. Yes, JJ. I think it's time to go to bed. Bye-bye. Good night to you. Thanks for watching friends, subscribe and like, and also don't forget to click on the bell so that you don't miss new videos. Bye bye! <gasps> Hello everyone, dear friends! The weather is just wonderful outside today! I wonder what adventures await me today? What? I think Mikey's coming to me. Mikey, it's open. Hi, what do you think we're going to build today? I don't have a single thought in my head, Mike. I have just a great idea, JJ. Let's build Sea Eater vs. El Gran Maha today. Wow, Mikey, the idea is really great. Okay, I agree. But first, let's welcome our dear viewers. Of course, JJ, go ahead. Hello, everyone, dear friends. Today, Mikey and I are going to build Sea Eater vs. El Gran Maha. And you decide who won in the comments. Are you ready, Mikey? Of course, JJ. Then we're starting. Maze 
Poison Build. Today I will scare you first. JJ and I talked a little bit before the release and decided that I would build Norpo, and JJ in turn would build Train Eater. Well, it's time to start. One girl painted a big cat on the wall. Blue paint, because she didn't have any other colors. Many people, after seeing the drawing, even at first thought that it was a real cat and were surprised that it was such an unusual color. And they showed it to others. Look how beautifully it is drawn. And the other three girls from the yard who could not draw so well became jealous. They took black paint and painted over the drawing. When the girl saw that her drawing was painted, she burst into tears and could not calm down for a long time. Then one of the three girls had a dream as if a big blue cat had come to her at night. He sat on top of the blanket and when the girl opened her eyes, he hissed and hit her with a paw with sharp claws. When the girl woke up in the morning, her whole face was covered in blood and there were such deep scratches on her face that they had to be sewn up in the hospital. The next night, the cat came to another girl. She woke up when she heard the blue cat jump on the windowsill and screamed. The girl jumped up and wanted to run away, but the cat jumped on her shoulders and clawed at her head. When the girl's mom and dad came running into the room, she was lying on the floor and her whole head and back were scratched. The third girl, upon learning about this, took a large iron nail and began to scratch the wall with it, where there was a black spot on top of the drawing with a cat. With a nail, the girl tore off almost all the paint from the wall. Look how beautifully it is drawn. Well, now he won't be able to come to me. But at night, the blue cat came for her too. In the morning, the parents found the girl dead. The police later said that the girl had been strangled. They also found bloody traces of large cat paws on the bed, on the floor, and on the window. Then people said they saw a blue cat painted on the wall. The drawing was like a real one, seen on different walls, in different parts of the city. Sometimes the cat was asleep in the drawing. Sometimes it was licking its fur. But more often, it was sitting and looking for something, or someone else. And if children passed by the drawing, they felt that the cat was looking at them. And we tried to get through as quickly as possible. And in that house, where a painted blue cat appeared on the wall, someone always died later. That's the story about the blue cat. And this story tells you that you can't spoil other people's toffee things. Therefore, never damage someone else's property. JJ, do you like cats? Hmm, let me think about it. I think that yes, the cats are very cute. That's how JJ answered me but he doesn't know the story about this dangerous but very cute cat. One girl was walking with her grandmother in the park and saw a store where there were big, beautiful dolls behind the glass. The girl really wanted such a doll, and she began to ask her grandmother, let's go to this store and buy a doll. Which store? Grandma was surprised. Yes, this one. The girl pointed with her hand, but the grandmother did not see anything and thought that the girl must have fallen ill and quickly took her home to check her temperature. But the girl turned out to be healthy. The next day, when she went for a walk outside, she saw the doll shop again. Now, the store was right in the yard. The girl immediately ran home. Mom, there's a doll shop there, and the dolls there are so big and beautiful. Buy me one, please. But when the mother and the girl went down to the yard, the store had already disappeared. The next night, the girl woke up to the fact that her room was as bright as day. The light was coming from the window. The girl went to the window and saw that it was no longer a window, but a glass door to a doll store. Then the girl grabbed the piggy bank from the shelf and immediately went into the store before it disappeared again. You probably want to buy a doll, the salesman asked the girl. The girl looked at him and was scared. For some reason, she thought he looked like a big spider. It even seemed to her that instead of hands, he had long spider legs with claws. But then the seller took one doll off the shelf and put it next to the girl. The doll was so beautiful and so big, almost like the girl herself. And it seemed very, very real. The girl thought that she didn't have enough money in her piggy bank to buy such a doll. How much does this doll cost? The girl asked. The seller stretched out his hand and pointed to the piggy bank. The girl handed over the piggy bank. Can I take the doll? Said the girl. The salesman nodded his head. The girl grabbed the doll and quickly went to the exit before the seller changed his mind. But when she was back in her room, the doll opened her eyes, grabbed the girl by the throat and began to strangle her. The girl was so scared that she lost consciousness. And when I woke up, 
I saw that I had become a doll myself and was standing on a shelf in a store next to other dolls. And he can't even move, scream, or cry. Now she could only wait for someone to come buy it. Then she would strangle him and live his life until the spider-like owner comes again and brings her back to his store. That's a really scary story. She scares the hell out of me. I wonder how the JJ is doing. Amazing build. To build El Gran Maja, I will need blocks of lapis lazuli and coal. I'm starting construction. To begin with, I'm building my El Gran Maja's mouth out of lapis lazuli blocks. Guys, don't forget to like the video. It's very important to us. Can you imagine two sea giants fighting against each other? And it was. Maybe you don't understand what I'm talking about. So I'm going to tell you everything now. One day, El Gran Maja met a bloop monster on the seabed. We were all very lucky that the researchers managed to notice them at that very moment, so they were able to make great shots of their battle. Bluff looked majestic that day, his body illuminated by the rays of the sun. It seemed to everyone that no one could have stopped him. When they met, they immediately clung to each other. It was a truly terrifying sight. It seemed that no one would be able to stop them. They fought with the last of their strength. They were also constantly being bullied by people, which made their battle more and more difficult. Yes, El Gran Maya has big and sharp teeth, but this did not help him much in battle because although they differ in body size, they have the same mouth size, which is why their bites were terrifying. No one was inferior to anyone at first. But when both monsters received serious wounds, they simply decided to sail away in different directions to heal. It is possible that they just both understand that in the battle with people, they will need to unite. But for now, they can just ignore each other. It's scary, isn't it? Mikey and I almost had a fight once. JJ, I'm pretty sure that Bloop Monster is the strongest sea monster. I don't think so, Mikey. And I'm sure I'm right. You can't convince me. Ha ha, ha ha. Mikey, you're so stubborn. After that, Mikey and I argued about it almost every day, and eventually, he came to the conclusion that I was right. He finally admitted his mistake. Ha ha! So, El Gran Maha and Blup have already met twice, in 2001 and 2023. El Gran Maja comes out victorious after each battle, but not without serious damage, the last time his flippers were torn off. Therefore, I had to hide in order to heal before another battle. In general, if El Gran Maja meets someone whom he considers worthy prey, he will never retreat from his goal until he receives enough damage or takes his victim. It is said that it is possible to repel the attack of such a monster only thanks to a large number of explosions. I once went sailing with a captain, but at that moment, he was quite famous. But now I don't even remember his name. We were in the waters of the Atlantic Ocean when we heard a loud roar from the water. How did we know that the sound was from the water? Our ship was tossing from side to side on the waves, and there were large circles on the water, as if someone had started throwing large stones at it. Since it was my first time on a sea voyage, I was very scared and thought that I was definitely finished. I hid behind the side of our ship and waited for the imminent arrival of the monster. Our captain was a very brave man. He only said that it was just another whale and we had nothing to fear. But still he ordered us to spread the sail and hurry on our way. I suspected that the captain was not telling me something, so I decided to take a look at what was down there. As soon as I leaned over the side of the ship, six sparkling eyes immediately stared at me. They seemed to be looking right into my soul. At that moment, I almost fainted, but I restrained myself because my fall would definitely have ended up falling into the mouth of this monster. Yes, you got it right. El Gran Maha was looking at me from the seabed. At one point, it seemed to me that he even smiled. Brr! I remember this, and goosebumps start running. While I was mesmerized by the huge monster, I was being pulled back to the ship with all my strength. Oh, thanks to the captain for bringing me to my senses. A little more, and I would have jumped into the mouth of this monster myself. 
As it turned out, El Gran Maja was well fed enough not to pursue us, and we quietly left the place. And after about a day, we finally arrived on land. Since then, I have not been very willing to go swimming in the ocean. That's the story. Oh, I say something a lot. So much that in all this time, I have already managed to build my El Gran Maja. Of course, it turned out to be much smaller than the original, but it's still creepy enough. I can't even imagine building to a real height. Ha ha, great, half the work is done. I'm starting the interior decoration. From the side, I make a passage inside and put the missing blocks. I also put the blue doors into the passage. I'll take a look around inside. Hmm, not a bad place for a room, but I need to add some missing blocks. I'm completing the floor here, putting blocks on the side to make the wall more level, and I'm also putting up a lot of stairs. From above, I build up an empty space, leaving only a passage. And I build up the wall with blocks of black concrete. This is how I build up all the empty spaces on this side. I'm adding a few more blocks. Great, I'm putting up the hatches. Hmm, it's time for furniture. I finish building several blocks, put a bed, a workbench, and a flower in a flower pot on the side. I put several stoves behind the bed. On the other hand, I'm putting up some lapis lazuli steps. Here, I'll make a book zone. That's why I'm putting up bookshelves in an enchanted table. In the middle of the room, I hang a painting on the wall, and on the sides, there are a couple more paintings on one side, and now on the other. I also put up armor racks here, and put a blue carpet on the floor, and I also hang diamond armor on the racks. Great, my El Gran Maha house is ready. I wonder how Mikey's doing. Amazing build. Wow, Mikey, you've got a great sea eater. It's so big and it looks so sinister. You did a wonderful job. What's inside? Let's see it soon. It's just great. You're building better and better every day. I really like it. Thanks, JJ. I'm really glad you liked my creepy sea eater. Rather, show me what you've done. Then don't stand still, Mikey. Let's run and you'll see for yourself. Wow, JJ, what a gorgeous and creepy El Gran Maja you have turned out. It's just great. You were perfectly able to convey the atmosphere of this monster. I even feel like he's going to swallow me up. Thanks, Mike. I'm glad you liked my El Gran Maja. I think we can end here. I'm too tired for today. Yes, JJ, I think it's time to go to bed. Bye-bye. Good night to you. Thanks for watching friends, subscribe and like, and also don't forget to click on the bell so that you don't miss new videos. Bye bye!